What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel what we're doing is we're probably going to start a new playlist here. Uh, this is going to be on my favorite test equipment tools. Uh, today we're going to go over the Fluke T5-600. Stay tuned if you're interested in my review. All right, guys, so let's get down to the review here. This is one of my favorite tools, and that's why I'm gonna start this uh, mini series on some fluke tools that I just love, love, love. So this is the old version, the T5. Uh, fluke has since come out with the T6-600 and-1000. Uh, the new T6 has the field sense technology, so it allows uh, when you, you put the ammeter uh, forks over your wire, you can sense the amperage and the voltage. So that's a very cool feature to have in those new meters, but that keeps you uh, in the $150 range. These right now are retailing for about 100 bucks, and I still recommend them. Uh, you know, it doesn't take that much to, to figure out voltage. Um, that's just one of those things that makes it easier. So I do like this, the, the possibility of the field sense technology, but it is not necessary. So I really love the ammeter forks um, that you could just slide over. Um, it's not like a, a, a traditional ammeter where you have to uh, put the clamp around it. You know, uh, this makes it really easy. Now you are limited to certain conductors. I think you could probably put this around a t up to a two gauge wire. Um, so you know, some pretty thick wire, but some of the big conductors, if you're doing some big electrical work, um, you're gonna need one of those clamp style ammeters. So if you're hooking up some big disconnects or some service points, you know, this is probably not the meter for you. The reason I love this so much is the just the overall usability. Um, it, it's so it's so user friendly. Um, it holds your holds one of your probes in the back here, and then you can use one with the meter and then one with you know your other hand. So you're not really fighting to hold the meter and then do your do your probing. So you know oh! and I just lost my camera. So stand by here. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I'm gonna change that. All right. So <laughs> I have this I have this tripod sitting up on a cup right now because <laughs> I was all right, well, that'll work. Um, so anyways, so just like uh, holding your phone up on, a, on top of a cup, uh, you know, it, it's, it's how it goes, but um, holding your probe is difficult. So this has your basic voltage, amperage, and continuity, uh, you know, has your, has your standard BPB piece, uh, has a hold feature. This one does not have a backlight. I know the new ones with field sense do have a backlight. Uh, you know, I, I rarely need that feature. I rarely find it useful. Uh, and I'm, if I'm working in the dark, I have a headlamp on and I can see. Um, I do like that it does have a red LED for when you come upon a hot wire. Um, it does show you that voltage is present. So that's really nice to have. Um, I don't, I find all of those uh, new features in the field sense technology, I find them as that second kind of cool. Do you really need it to be uh, effective on the job site? No, you really don't. But um, some of the things that do make this, this uh, tool very effective on the job site is like I said, that, that probe holder um, is awesome because you're you know right in it and you can hold it there towards you and right into probing um, anything you need to. So I really, really like that feature and that's what sold me on this uh, T5. So um, I highly recommend, and for a hundred bucks, you're getting a nice fluke meter that is you know, uh, above reproach and there's not many things out there that are gonna beat it. Um, if it is important to you that you can also tell voltage when putting the ammeter forks around a wire, then go with the field sense. But um, it's not necessary for me and I just uh, you know, find it, I'll stick with the old stuff. Now, I probably will invest in one, but it's not something that's uh, going to keep me from doing my job day to day. And uh, this thing has definitely saved my butt a time or two, and I really, really like it. So it all, uh, has an auto off feature. It will automatically 
uh, turn off if you forget about this, because I forget about this a lot and keep it on. So it, it will turn itself off. Um, it also senses uh, automatically volts DC or volts AC, which is really nice. You just uh, click it over. Um, obviously, you're only going to get amperage readings on AC, but <coughs> excuse me. So very good meter, very nice for 100 bucks. Um, there's very few companies that can beat it for 100 bucks with the usability. Um, just the overall uh, ease of use on this thing is awesome. So I definitely give it two thumbs up, and it's a must buy if you're looking at a meter like this. Yeah, so this meter will take you to one kilo ohm, and it'll take you to 600 volts. So those of you that are working on 480 um, and stuff like that, you can ha this will handle it just fine. Now, if once you go up to the T5-1000 or the T6-1000, you can go to 1,000 volts. But I don't have any use for that, so stick here with the T5. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. I hope that you found value in my content today. And if you did, please smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next video.